Welcome back to this Football Friday edition of the High Sierra Report, joined again by Scott Shahadi. Now, we're going to transition a little bit into NFL football. We've got four minutes now to talk about it. Thursday night football, we'll start with the Jets, Patriots. What did you see in that game? Well, it was the best part of that game was watching a South Tahoe native Garrett McIntyre get to put a whooping on Tom Brady. That was wonderful. That was one heck of a sack. We did see it. We have a picture right there of Garrett, in case you don't recognize him, but he was here, right here, a local guy, went to Fresno State and then laid it on Tom Brady last night. That must have been great for you to see. Oh, it's fun to see. I mean, a local kid who, everywhere he's gone, his, he's always been talked about, his motor never stops. And he showed it again last night, getting that sack. And there he is coming out of the out of the shoot, and there's, there's the, the sack, sack on Brady. And as a Raider fan, anytime I get to see Brady get hit, it's a beautiful <laughs> thing. Hey, oh, you know, our, our GM is a Patriots fan, so. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, other games coming up this week, and a big one, for the 49ers going into Seattle, what do you think in there? What a battle. What a battle. Two young quarterbacks, two great defenses, uh, you know, coaches that have uh, been around for years and have battled each other in the Pac-12 or Pac-10 then, now back into the pros. That's going to be a fun game to watch. And as a Raider fan, let's go Seattle. You know, those coaches hate each other. They do. Jim Harbaugh, and then y you have... You have Jim Harbaugh, the guy who's just like so tough and you think blue collar there. And then Pete Carroll, you think the guy who kind of flies, you know, by the seat of his pants. They're both different, totally different. Totally different guys. And then they both bring the heat when it comes in, you know, that game, I think. I think it's going to be decided by a field goal or less. What do you think? I would imagine it'll be a close game, down to the wire, last possession, absolutely. And, you know, the athleticism on both sides of the ball, who knows who's going to win that game. Seahawks, though, 8-0 and last year at CenturyLink Field. Tough spot to win up there. Tough spot to win. They play hard. The 49ers, NFC champions. I mean, how do you, who do you pick? I'm giving it to you. Who do you pick? I'd like to see Seattle win because I'm, I'm anti-Niners, but I think the Niners have the better team, better, better coaching. I think Harbaugh's a better coach than, than Pete Carroll, and uh, they're better defense. Mm. Why do you see a better coach than Pete Carroll? I don't think anything that could happen in a game would surprise Jim Harbaugh. There's nothing that could happen. He's so prepared. His team's prepared. Uh, you know, and, and he learned from last year in the Super Bowl where they really weren't prepared for that final drive at first and goal. And it showed. And I think that'll never happen again to that man. Wasn't prepared for the brother. Wasn't prepared yeah, for maybe John. Not. Maybe not. But um, so let's get back to that game because I think it's going to probably be one of the best games this weekend. And the spread is only two and a half. You're going to take the Niners plus two and a half in if, Seattle. Yeah, if, if I had enough money to bet it, I definitely would take the points. All right, well, let's talk about the Raiders. They're, they're playing the <laughs> Jaguars. I know it's your team. Wah, wah, wah. What do you What do you want to talk about there? Uh, it's good to see the Raiders be competitive last week. It's been a long time. Nobody expected that. The quarterback, Terrell Pryor, shoot, uh, you know, it's, it, he has been horrible. Finally, last week showed he may be a professional quarterback. Maybe. So, uh, you know, maybe. maybe. It's only one week, sure. right, maybe. All right, another game, big game this weekend, the Giants and the Denver Broncos. Peyton Manning going in to play Eli Manning. What do you think about that? Well, after, if you go by just last week, they're going to both score probably 45 points, and, <laughs> and the scoreboard operator is going to get tired. And didn't seem like there was a whole lot of defense played in either one of their games. But those two guys can just flat out, you know, call a game. Absolutely. That would be a fun one throw to watch. touchdowns, yeah. For sure. But when we come back, we're going to talk about some college football, the only one we haven't touched on yet. Stick with us. You're watching Lake Tahoe TV.